I want to show you how to do the old Norwegian cast on today. It's a version of a long tail cast on, so you're going to want enough yarn to create your yarn tail. So it usually it's about three times the length of whatever piece you want to knit is what you want. Sometimes if you don't know how, if it's a very long one and you're a bit worried about having the incorrect amount or too much or too little, you can also take the inside part of this and use that for the tail. So that way you can use the tail can come from the inside and the working yarn can come from the outside and that works perfectly fine um, and it means that you don't run out of the yarn. So like with the long tail cast on, you keep the yarn tail in the front and the working yarn behind and you drape them over your index and your thumb on your left hand. Just hold them in your hand like this. And there's two ways of getting started. You can either put a slip stitch on this first of all, which will create a knot, or you can come in like this, twist it, and that will create your first stitch. So now to work the first stitch, we're going to come in front of both loops on the thumb, just like this, go all the way under them, then dip the tip in here to grab that loop. Now you're going to go in up over the loop on your index finger and hook that to pull it through. Now you drop the loop off your thumb and you pull that tightly but not too tightly, just enough to snug it up but not so much that you've got a really tight stitch. Then you re-grab the yarn and you do that again. Come in front of the both loops on the index, on the thumb, sorry. Scoop down into the thumb loop, bring that up and over the back index finger loop and pull that through. Drop your thumb out and tighten it up. So all the way through, drop it through the thumb one, lift it over your index finger one and pull that loop through. And that's what you're going to want to do over as many times as you need in order to create your old Norwegian cast on. There you go. Thank you.